Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, to all of you guys that voted for the favorites, I totally appreciate you. Oh my gosh, oh I wanna thank God and I wanna thank my mom and I wanna thank the minis and I wanna thank my hubby and oh my gosh, this is just, oh my gosh, I appreciate you guys so much. I couldn't have done this without you guys. <laughs> Favorites of the month. Favorites of the month. Hey everybody, C. Key here, and I'm coming to you guys with another video, and I am super duper excited. I am super duper stoked. I am just like, I'm all over the place. How about that? So I wanted to come to you guys with this video because it was requested for the people by the people. Y'all know how we do. Like, here's the thing. You guys really wanted a video on the best beauty products of 2016, right? Y'all wanted to hear what my faves were for the whole year. So because, I mean, and I'm kind of late, so excuse my tardiness, but you know what I always say better late than never okay so i was like instead of doing a january favorites why don't i just knock out this video since it's what you guys wanted in the first place so that is what i'm doing but listen it is a twist to it okay i did not want to do the same and like this is no shade no slight to nobody okay but i did not want to do the same redundant video like i did favorites throughout the year i did a video on my ride or die makeup products so i gave you guys a lot of favorites so what i decided to do was to look up all my favorites videos, y'all, I put some time in. I did my homework, I'm just saying. I'm ready for y'all, I'm ready. But I went through all of my videos. I have some on my phone. I printed out some information so that I can share with you guys. And I'm gonna go through it and I'm gonna give you images of the products so that you can see what we're talking about, right? And I'm gonna let you know how I feel about them now. This is like a year in review and I'm gonna try to make it as quick as I can. That's why I don't have the products in front of me. I'm just gonna put up images because I feel like it'll go way faster. Half of those products that I mentioned throughout the year, I'm still using them. And if I'm not, I wanna tell you why. So y'all good with that? Let go. So first off, Coco Misha Lashes. Girl, I'm rocking them right now. They're still a fave. Sasha Buttercup Powder. Now I have a video comparing the Sasha Buttercup Powder to my Ben Nye Banana Powder. And I tell you why I don't really use the Sasha Buttercup Powder anymore. Now I am gonna try it another way, but I have not been using that ever since, like, I don't even know, probably since that video, okay? So I will link that as well. My Lancome Foundation Brush. Because off the top of my head, I can't remember it, I'ma just tell you I'm not using it. And the only reason for that is probably because I have so many brushes. My Black Radiance Powder in Golden Cashews. Absolutely use it every single time I do my makeup because when I mute out the discoloration on my lids, I actually apply the powder on there. Now this, I'ma show y'all because the love is absolutely real so that's what the powder's looking like so yeah that's totally a fave and i'ma just sit it right here the next thing the ColourPop eyeshadow in wilshire i just did a video on my makeup going from day to night and i totally use that so i use that almost like every time i go to an event the makeup geek manny mua palette it is still a favorite i don't use it all the time because i always go to my handy dandy palette that i created with mac and makeup geek shadows that's like my go-to palette and i've been using the ColourPop shadows a lot but i still love the manny palette it is still the bomb.com my bio true contact solution i use it every single time i rock contacts i use it on today my canon 50 millimeter lens i'm still using it like i'm not filming with it today today i think i'm using a 24 millimeter but i use the 50 millimeter every time i do a tutorial city color timeless beauty palette i have not used that palette in a long time because i have gotten so many highlighters since then i just haven't been showing it any love color pop ultra satin lipsticks thebomb.com. Y'all know that I carry tulips in my makeup bag all the time. So yes, that's still a fave. ColourPop Ultra Matte Lipstick in Rooch. I have not shown it any love in months. So we could say that it probably didn't make the cut. I still love the lipstick, but we're talking about ones that kind of got the trophy and made it to the end. Smile Brilliant Teeth Whitening System. I absolutely love that teeth whitening system. I have a video on it where me and Mini Mini Me showed you guys how it worked and everything, but I have been using multiple things so I have not used that in a few months, but it is still the bomb.com. Milani 2-in-1 Foundation. Still love it, but I have not showed it love. Now, the only reason I would say that I probably haven't showed it love is because now when I first did the review on that foundation and I was like raving about it, I think it was in the fall time. So when the summertime came, I stopped showing it as much love and I started trying other foundations. Y'all know I did like 50,000 foundation reviews. So summertime, 
and other foundations kind of came on the scene. ColourPop Brow Pencil in Bangin' Brunette. Um, it's still a love, but I think LA Girl, like their brow pencils are kind of taking the cake right now. Like I have it on right now, this is in Brunette. I prefer medium brown or espresso, but I totally used it up. So that's why I'm rocking Brunette. But yeah, I every now and again, I'll do my banging Brunette. Then the next thing was a lipstick by ColourPop in the shade Pillow Talk. I probably have not used it since March and April when it made my favorites. Shea Moisture Manuka Honey Mask. I do not use that anymore. I have decided to stick with the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Mask. The Aunt Jackie's Flaxseed Gel, y'all. I have been repurchasing it and repurchasing it and I love it for my wash and goes, especially when I do a style like this and I pop it in a bun. That is my go-to product. Now there were these Muse beauty sponges. It was like a flat beauty blender. It was like flattened on both sides. I got it from the makeup show LA. Um, it was a favorite at that time, but I've since then used so many different beauty blenders that are much more soft. So I have not been using that. So it did not make the cut y'all. Now the Sephora corrector in orange deep. When that corrector first came out, y'all, I was raving and raving and raving about it. And then so many people kept telling me, I can't find it. I can't find it. For some reason, Sephora pulled it off the shelf and it was kind of like, okay, we're moving on with life. You feel me? I had stopped using it because I didn't want to use it all. And then I wasn't able to restock. So I just kind of got away from it. So ColourPop Brow Pencil made the cut again in this video. And I'm just going to say, like, I still love it. It's still a love thing, but like, my heart right now is totally with LA Girl. I'm just saying, it just is. And I also mentioned the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in chocolate in this video, and that's still cool too. Like, I still got a love thing for them. And if you guys want a bomb concoction, then you can use the ColourPop Bangin' Brunette to sculpt your brow and then fill it in with NYX chocolate. Now the Makeup Geek liners in Nude and Espresso. Still love the liners, but I have not used them in a while. Whenever I want a real chocolate brown liner, I do go for the Makeup Geek Espresso. But when I'm looking for a nude liner, I use the ColourPop Honey Dude because it is really, really small and it gets right in my waterline. It fits right in there like I wanted to. And as soon as I put it on, it just does not move. Now, Elf Foundation Palette. I got this because I wanted to show y'all that the love is real. This is my second palette, and this is the color I use to sculpt the outside of my brow, and I use this every single time I do my makeup, and this is six bucks. And then CoverGirl 3-in-1 Foundation. I did a throwback video on that foundation, and that was like my everyday foundation, like whenever I rock foundation during the week. And honestly, the only reason I don't use that foundation anymore is because I use it all and I just haven't bought another one. NARS Velvet Skin Tint, I have a review video on that. It is still a love thing. I just, like I told y'all, I've been using 50,000 foundations, so I have not shown it any love in a while. We talked about the Formula X Delete All Nail Polish Remover. That stuff is the bomb.com, but I have a confession. I still use the container, but I haven't purchased a new container in a long time. Basically what I did was I poured some of my 100% acetone nail polish remover into it and I just continue to use the container. The next thing is the MAC Studio Fix Foundation. And you guys always ask me what shade I am in MAC. I am a mixture of NC45 and NC50, but I have been hearing that they came out with the NC47. But the way my life is set up, I'm using all that I have, it's right there. I'm gonna use all that up first before I go buy another one. I think the thing that keeps me away from that foundation is the fact that I have to mix. And depending on how I'm feeling that day, my mixing could be way off. And my Amazon Airless Pump, it is still a favorite. Any foundation that I have that I have already mixed, which I haven't had a chance to do it with my Mac yet, I don't know why, because I will probably eliminate that problem. But Airless Pump, still a fave. NARS Radiant Concealer, we're just gonna say it didn't really make the cut because it's a little hydrating. I've fallen in love with Too Faced Born This Way Concealer as well as Tarte Shape Tape and still Maybelline Better Skin. Maybelline Better Skin Concealer. That it, I'm glad I talked about them in the same video. But yes, the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer is still bomb. I've been going back and forth between that and the Born This Way Concealer and the Shape Tape. The Becca Luminous Blushes are still a fave. Now on here, I put the Snapdragon, Tiger Lily, and Blush Copper. Let me just tell y'all right now, Blushed Copper is just mwah, magnifique. Blush Copper, this is for you. <laughs> now the Makeup Geek Blush in Chivalry, still a favorite, especially during the fall time. I had just got stuck on using this Taraji Glow that I'm rocking today, but Makeup Geek Blush in Chivalry, 
still a fave. The Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. I wasn't so much using it as a foundation. I was more so using it as a concealer. It's closer to my skin tone because they don't have one that's my actual skin tone, which like shame on you, Clinique. Because this one was closer to my skin tone, I would use it under my eyes when I didn't really want to highlight. But now, I have the Tarte Shape Tape in um, deep and that's really close to my skin tone. So sorry, Beyond Perfecting. Eee. MAC Peach Luster. Y'all know that ain't going nowhere. I do have a new favorite, but they're now sisters. Like I'm not gonna leave the MAC Peach Luster because it's amazing. Oh my gosh, this is like a reunion right now. Like this is bomb. I like doing it this way. If you guys like this video, let me know. Thumbs up, do something to let me know that you enjoyed it. And maybe we'll do this again at the end of the year, this year. The next thing on the list is Ofra Beverly Hills Highlighter. Like It's right here, mm-mm. We ain't playing games, it's a sticky beauty. That's why it stays in the front, right, Chia? Because Beverly Hills Highlighter is the most, oh, I have a little dent, but it is okay. I have like two more backups. And Becca Champagne Glow Face Palette. It is still a favorite and I still use the Champagne Pop. And I heard that Becca has made Prosecco Pop like permanent or something like that. But the reason you guys haven't seen it is because I'm kind of stuck on Makeup Geeks Ablaze and Ofra's Beverly Hills Highlighter. Like those have been kind of, controlling my life right now. Like they're pretty amazing. So this time I incorporated music into the favorites video, okay? And it was Travis Green, The Hill album. If y'all follow me on Snapchat, I don't even have to go into that because y'all already know this is still a favorite and will always be. That man's album is amazing. Next, the Soap and Glory Body Butter. Oh my gosh. I have two more jars left. MAC Prep and Prime CC Compact. It is a yellow setting powder that it was okay when I tried it. Like it wasn't bad at all, but it wasn't one of those things where I was like, girl, I gotta use that again. So Prep and Prime CC, you didn't make the cut. Milani Stay Put Matte Liner absolutely bh cosmetics contour palette it is still good but let me tell you what has taken the cake it would be becca's dark golden powder that is look at that contour i mean enough said it gets me right clinique super balance silk makeup and silk sable number 18 is right chia matter of fact i'm rocking that today and i mixed it with this urban decay right here the all-nighter foundation and Oh girl, I did not realize it was a love thing like that. It is way down here. Oh, y'all probably can see that too, see? Honestly, since I've been using this one, I really haven't shown this one any love. This used to be my go-to event foundation, y'all, but I've been using the Urban Decay All Nighter, either mixed with the Becca foundation or mixed with this Clinique, and that has been my event foundation. I still love it, I still got love, but it's kind of like move over bacon because here comes the beef. And I never thought I would say that. I feel some kind of way about it because yeah. Makeup Geek and Kathleen Light's highlighter palette. It is still good, but I'm gonna tell you, if I had to pick one highlighter from Makeup Geek's highlighter collection, it would totally be a blaze. Jamaican black castor oil with coconut? Nope, it did not make it because I started using lavender and I'm totally in love. Allocate Naturals Lemongrass Leave-In Conditioner. Yes, yes, and yes. And it is the confidence is key shirt. Confidence is key, ladies, you know what I mean. Y'all know that that is a favorite. That's my baby. That's gonna always be a favorite. So the next thing, MAC lipstick in self-portrait. That is definitely a favorite. I've definitely been rocking that like over and over and over. Matter of fact, the last tutorial I did, I rocked that lippy. Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Mask. I told you guys about that in the beginning. Thumbs up. Two thumbs up, bomb. The next thing is the Clinique Pep Start Eye Cream. Now, I told you guys in that video that we kind of had like a love-hate relationship, but after trying a couple more creams, I keep going back to this one. So this has made it into 2017. Now, the MAC Paint Pot and Groundworks, I still love it, but the thing that has carried over into 2017 is the LA Girl Eyeshadow Primer in Nude. I used that in my last tutorial as well, and the It by by pores primer i still use it i use it today and i have a backup i think i like it so much because it is more it feels more like a moisturizer than a primer the l'oreal voluminous primer bomb.com whenever i don't rock lashes i have to use that the milani crease brush love thing the rcma last time i said art MCA, I think that was a record label, but RCMA No Color Powder is still a favorite, but I alternate between the Ben Nye Banana Powder and the RCMA. Maybelline 
Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. Yes, please. The only reason I haven't been rocking it as much is because I've been trying all these different foundations. Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. Bomb, but I really haven't been showing it any love. Like, ever since NYX came into my life, I just, I don't know. I want to say that it made it in, but I totally just started using it like in December, so... I mean, I, we could just slide it on in there, right? You know how people slide in the DMs? We could just slide it on in there. Oh yes, Becca Ultimate Coverage Foundation in Tobacco. I told you guys I usually mix it with this Urban Decay Foundation, but guess what? It is all gone. And lastly, Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. So everything that I'm mentioning in this video, I will definitely have in the description box, you guys. I always fill it out in its entirety because I know the struggle of watching a video and you see somebody use something and it is the bomb.com and you're like, so that's it you guys i hope you guys enjoyed the layout of this video i always try to add a twist and i always try to make it fun because fun is my middle name just saying again i appreciate all your support you guys have an awesome blessed day and i will see you sooner than you think bye you know what i mean a woman feels good when she's looking pretty I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or a Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, see key beauty makeover. Confidence is key, ladies, you know what I mean. Or maybe her eyeshadow and mascara will help you see. Check out her foundation and the blush on her cheek. Yeah, we ain't playing games, it's the Seeky Beauty. Yeah, Seeky Beauty.